Over the last year, um, maybe 13 months, I've not been shy about expressing my opinion about things that matter a lot to me. Chiefly what I see as Israel's genocide in Gaza, and latterly their war crimes in uh, Lebanon. So I've been talking about that, and just today I posted about this. Um, I posted this on uh, Facebook Stories, where I asked the question, is this man not a convicted sex criminal? Um, and does that not matter anymore? Because... I've got a son, he's 17, and I don't want him growing up in a world where I think, where it seems that um, genocide is normalised and the West can arm the party carrying out their genocide, as the US, the UK and Germany are doing, arming Israel. I don't want my son growing, growing, sorry, I can't talk, I have a hangover, it was my birthday, it's my birthday today, I had drinkies yesterday. Anyway, I don't want my son growing up in a world where The West facilitating genocide is normalised and a convicted sex criminal, uh, Trump was found to have at least sexually assaulted and I think possibly raped a lady called E. Jean Carroll. You can Google that name, Trump and E. Jean Carroll, C-A-R-R-O-L, I think it is. And you will find the story about what Trump was found to have done to this woman. It's not nice and I don't think we should live in a world where an elected leader... Uh, of the so-called head of the so-called free world not that it is if you're protesting against genocide cops will beat you up with their batons and their gas but anyway the so-called free world its leader is after january uh the 6th or the 20th or whenever he comes in its leader is going to be a man found to have been a sexual offender and committed various other crimes including i believe um an attempt to overthrow the results of the last election when Biden won and Trump obviously to this day claims that Biden didn't and he did and he claims it was trickery and chicanery and cheating that saw Biden into the White House. Now, I am no defender of Biden and Harris uh, any more than I am of Trump. It's under Biden that the genocide has been carried out in Gaza. Um, He's expressed endless uh, sorrow for the Israeli victims of the Hamas attack on October the 7th, 2023, and next to no, little to no um, empathy for all of the Gazans killed. A whole, a huge number of the women and children the Gazans killed during that time. So I'm no fan of Biden or Harris, who should have resigned from her job if she cared, but she doesn't. Uh, whether that's because she's bought off by APAC or she has a Jewish husband, I don't know. And let's remember, not all Jews are Zionists and not all Zionists are Jews. Not all Jewish people and even not even all Israelis approve of what Israel has been doing. But anyway, that's by the by. So uh, anyway, I've got this aunt back in the UK, I live in Thailand now, who keeps chiding me and chastising me about my views. How dare you talk about the genocide on Facebook? How dare you say this about Trump? He's a great businessman who's going to lead America and the world back to prosperity. Well, I think some things are more important than money or the economy. I think having a world where we don't elect sex offenders is important is important. I'm sure Harris could do as good a job with the economy, and as far as I know, she isn't a sex offender, offender, although she would probably still keep on providing those £2,000 bombs to Israel for it to drop on the heads of civilians. But anyway, um, I think they all suck, but I was just pointing out that Trump is a convicted felon, sex offender, whatever whatever the phrase you want to use is. He did naughty things to women, and he's on record as saying that should be allowed to grab women by the P. You, you know what he said, the P, U, double S, Y. I hope me spelling that out doesn't get me demonetized. Not that anyone's watching this far. Anyway, I just want to say to you, if you're expe- expressing your opinion calmly and politely, and somebody is hassling you and saying you shouldn't talk about that sort of thing here, and they're being a bit autocratic and telling you what you can say and where you can say it, don't don't uh don't 
Don't be cowed by these people into silence. If something's important to you, please speak up about it, as I have been doing. Facebook doesn't need to be only pictures of kittens, puppies, people's meals and photos from people's trips. We can talk about things that matter to us, can't we? Because we want the world to get better year on year, decade on decade, especially if we have children, right? Um, so, yeah. Speak your piece, as long as you do it politely, without losing your temper, and you remain um, open to new ideas and receptive to the idea of changing your mind as new facts present themselves. Looking at my phone, how long have I been talking now? Five and a half minutes. I'll uh, leave that there, I think. Thank you if you listened. Um, thank you if you speak out about things that are important to you, even if... Your opinion differs from mine if you do it in a polite, considered and considerate way. That's all I've got from Dan in Bangkok. Peace out.